Distinguished delegate, it is a great honor for me to address the second Asia-Pacific Regional Education Ministers Conference. For over 75 years, UNESCO has served as a pioneer organization to build peace through international cooperation in education, science, and culture. I congratulate UNESCO for its role in this regard and for delivering tangible benefits to people across the world. The challenges faced during the COVID pandemic have highlighted the significance of successful collaborations for rebuilding a resilient education system. This meeting provides a valuable platform to share the experiences of the Asia-Pacific countries in this regard. I am glad to inform that under the able leadership of our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, India launched its National Education Policy 2020, which is aligned to the SDG uh, 2030 and aims to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. In conformity with these objectives and to minimize learning losses during the pandemic, India rapidly adopts multimodal means of teaching learning under the PM eVidya program through e-learning platform like Swayam, Disha, Virtual Lab, National Digital Library, etc. Teaching through Swayam, Parbha TV allow us to bridge the digital divide. Teachers were specially trained under program Nista. We are now working to set up a digital university and expand the Swayam Prabha channel to 200. Our new national digital education architect will give strength to the digital education ecosystem. India's successful vaccination program has also helped to ensure safe return to school. We vaccinated our teachers on priority and have allowed vaccination for 12 to 14 years old children. To ensure strong recovery of education, school effectiveness and equal opportunities are being ensured under our flagship program, Samagrahi Siksa Avyan, improving foundational literacy and numeracy, exam and assessment reforms, and reimagining vocational education are other areas of priority. To strengthen the higher education system, we have enabled flexible and multidisciplinary learning multiple entry exits, nurturing a culture of research, improving quality education, and better management and governance of institutions. Our experience has shown that deep intersectoral engagement involving in government, students, teachers, parents, and community play an important role in maintaining continuity of education, delivery, and recovery process. I reiterate that Achievement of SDGs related to quality education is an important part of our national policies. I wish to re-emphasize my country's readiness to work closely with UNESCO in a mutually enriching partnership to achieve our shared goal of peace, harmony, equity, and global human unity. Thank you. Namaskar.